Moon 5. Inspire. Imagine. Create. I discovered urban sketching in 2012 um, when I was on sabbatical in Mauritius with my family and um, and it was a book I'd been given um, Everyday Matters by Danny Gregory um, about a man who'd had a lot of trouble in his life um, and how drawing managed to keep him his head above water. I knew then that everything was going to change and that a beautiful road was opening up before me and that is exactly what's happened and in the last eight years I have filled, I don't know, maybe 80 sketchbooks um, of just daily life, daily life and places I've been, I suppose the typical holiday scenes of course. When you're sketching all you think of is, is my subject going to move, is the car going to drive away, is the light going to change, so you don't think about your troubles, all you think about is how to get this particular subject done in time. I always paint as well as draw on location, so I don't have a lot of time to get everything done before my subject moves, and therefore you are in 100% concentration mode. Once that state descended, then I could make no mistakes. And this was a very exciting thing, as you can imagine. And as time passed, I realized that the meditative state would descend almost immediately. Now it happens the second I start drawing. So, um, and, and once you get to that flow, you don't make mistakes something else is guiding your hand. You just don't make mistakes. It's different from using a photograph or a reference in some way. But when you're on the spot, that's what happens. The flow happens. What's amazing about it is the calm and the, the, the meditative feeling that you get, it begins to leak out into the rest of your life. And um, I would describe myself as a happy and serene person, whereas I've always been a melancholic, uptight, and very, very neurotic person. But that has all changed now. And your day will always be made better by, by having done some sketching. It's something to do with using your hands and just being in the moment. I, I don't know, I don't know the science behind it, but it is definitely an incredibly powerful thing. And it's not too expensive and it's accessible to everybody. And it doesn't matter if you're good at drawing or bad at drawing or if you've never done it before. Everyone's creative. It's just the human condition. Everyone is creative and it's just the best fun and the community is wonderful. I fell into urban sketching very, very thoroughly and passionately. And um, within three years of having taken up my pens for the first time, I suppose, um, I held my first workshop. And um, I was very ambitious. I very much wanted to teach in the International Urban Sketching Symposium that takes place um, once a year in a different lovely city somewhere in the world. Um, and I fancy the idea of teaching, but it's very competitive uh, to become a, a teacher in the symposium. So um, I thought, well, you know, uh, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can start small. So my first sketching workshop took place at the end of 2015. And to my amazement, it was unbelievable fun, great fun. I loved teaching. I loved being with the, the students. So I started teaching classes at my own home. And um, I, I quickly realized that, um, you know, it was great fun. My kids were a little rowdy um, because mum was doing the class, but we soon put manners on them. And um, time passed, really enjoyed it, and I found out during those classes that, that I was used as a threat by one of the mothers. If you don't behave, you're not going to Roshan's on Saturday, which made my day. But at the start of the pandemic, I was in teaching. I'd been teaching locally. I had a couple of workshops lined up. I had a workshop in Dublin lined up and one in Harlem, in the Netherlands, lined up for July. And um, half an hour before Leo Varadkar shut the country down back in March and said the museums were closing, I sent word out to my Dublin attendees that the workshops, the workshop was about to be cancelled. Hoped that the workshop in Harlem in the Netherlands could continue to go ahead, but it couldn't. It just wasn't to be. So, um, and of course, I couldn't even attend the local community centre and teach the children. So the children suggested I take the class to, to Zoom, and they showed me how to do it online virtually we showed each other and I noticed on my first session with them that 
the chat box was full of hello, 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 hello. And I thought, why are they saying hello to me? We've already said hello to each other. But I realized they'd missed each other so much. They were saying hello to each other. They hadn't even even been in school together. And I, I it was quite amazing how much of a, a feeling of being together Zoom gave them. So there have always been people who sketched. There's always been people who sketched every day. But now is a time when we can do it together online we can do it together we can get together in groups through the power of social media we can hook up and we can we can meet so um so it's it's super super social there's no need for anyone to be lonely you can always meet someone who go and sketch with you the goal LEO has been amazing um i do um i'm doing a business course with them at the moment um and it's the lean launch course run by declan droney and it's fantastic. Business is a passion for me. I absolutely adore people's stories of business. So I'm very much um, in the right hands with LEO and they've given me the support of the business courses um, as well as other short courses I've done over the years. So um, yeah, fantastic opportunities out there to enhance your, your skill set. The most exciting thing in the world when you start to see your own voice emerge, and it's like seeing it's 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 basically your your handwriting as an artist, um, and you take it for granted that you have handwriting that is unmistakably yours. But you do as an artist as well. It's unmistakably yours. It's your it's your hand. It's your print, and um, your foibles, your quirks, your personality will all be there. Um, and it's my job to give you the technical skills to for so that they don't get in the way of your voice emerging. Um, but if you, and, and it's also my job to keep you excited enough for long enough as a sketcher to give your voice a chance to emerge. The, people talk about flow. They talk about flow and they talk about that, um, that meditative state that descends when you start getting creative. And it could happen in any uh, area of creativity, whether it's pottery making or whether it's drawing or whatever it is. Um, and that, when you have that period of that, that sense of flow, um, all the little niggly things about life, they just they just don't exist anymore. Time stands still um, and you, you become in a state of suspended animation when you just, it's just you and the object you're working on. Um, and that tends to, um, that it tends to leak out into the rest of your life after the, the bag of pottery being put away, your paints have been closed. So um, it's, 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 it's got some powerful effect on, on the human way of being that I don't understand. Um, but but it's definitely addictive and um, and it's and once 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 tasted you'll always be you'll be looking for that again. It's, it's, it's a special place to be. This video was brought to you by Creative Ireland, Local Enterprise Office Galway the IDA West Region and Galway County Council. Moon 5. Inspire. Imagine. Create.